Hi everyone, it's Marcy Bessaker with Stamping Up and I am an independent demonstrator. And today I am recording the video because you guys are rock stars and hung with me while I was trying to switch between YouTube and Facebook. I don't know what's going on. I have full strength on my internet, but it is not allowing me to upload. Like I said yesterday, uh, I was watching somebody and they had, oh look at that. Looks like I've been trying to upload videos all day. Uh, it looks like they were having the same kind of issues and it was buffering and I couldn't hear anything they were saying. It was really frustrating. And I did not want you to have to watch that. So um, I am going to record it and upload it for you after I am done recording. Thank you so much for hanging with me. So the video I started with, I wanted to tell you really quick that Carol Fussell, Fussell uh, from the UK, she was on last Sunday and I spoke with her after um, later in the week and her husband is back home and fine. For those of you that were watching on Sunday, you were wondering, um, you were giving her inspiration and talking with her um, and her husband's home and he's doing fine now and she's um, they're back on track and she said she wanted to reach out and say thank you so much to everybody for all your positive thoughts and comments to her on Sunday. Um, she wasn't able to hop on on Tuesday or Friday and today I can't even get on a line. So um, I wanted to, she asked me to share that with you. Um, the second thing was Stampin' Stores, you guys had asked if they delivered to the UK. So I looked it up. I did post in my last video comment, like I said I would. But just so you know, they did say that they use USPS, which is United States Postal Service. So whatever the fees are that they charge to deliver to you for the weight and size and whatever is how much it would cost to send it to you. So they do but there is going to be some shipping charge, of course, that's probably, I don't know what that would be. So um, you might ask them if you want to email them the email, if you click on the link in my description on my blog, or it will be down below if it's not already, or it will be on my YouTube down below. And so you can click on that and it will um, give you their email address there. I don't have it off the top of my head. I think it's contactstampandstorage.com, but I'm not sure. And you could ask them and tell them what you're interested in and see if they can give you a quote would be my best guess. All right. So that being said, um, I do have a class coming up, which is going to be this last bottom left hand side which is the Beautiful Brilliance Collection. Uh, these are the individual items. So you'll get the designer series paper, the specialty paper, and the bundle, which is the stamps and dies. And I am going to be having um, a class on that. It will be virtual. And so the last video I did, I, I talked about it. And um, there's going to be three ways. If you need to purchase the bundle, I would love it if you purchase it through me. And if you do, <clears throat> I will send you the kits that we're going to be doing, which is three A2 cards, a mini pizza box with four cards inside. Excuse me. <clears throat> so if you purchase that through me, you'll get the kits for free and I'll get those mailed to you. The second way you can do it is if you are a demonstrator and you want to participate and you already have the kit, um, I can, or the bundle and the, the collection, I can create the kits for you and I need to come up with the price once I'm done creating. I've got part, part of it done. So as soon as I'm done with that, then I will go ahead and um, get a price for that and let you know what it is. So I'll be preparing a flyer and everything for it and you'll get all the information as soon as I'm done creating it. It should be um, this week. The third way is if you are a demonstrator and you already have the collection and you have the paper and everything and you don't want me to send you anything and or you're a customer and you just want the video link then I can do that for you also I'll come up with the price once I get everything figured out and get my flyer going so um, I'd love to have you participate in that so that is I think it for my 
announcements today. I'm a little flustered because I couldn't get on YouTube and then I couldn't get on Facebook, but we are going to do this video for you so you can see the fun that we had, but I'm not having as much fun because I can't chat with you. So let's just get started. Okay, so here's the card that I showed and here are just some different cute Mother's Day cards. Like I mentioned, for Mother's Day, I am creating a lot of cards. My husband's work likes to have them on hand and there's a lot of employees and they like to buy them. So I did a video on this one the other day. And so now this is gonna be another option here. I'm gonna do several options, probably just about six to eight of each. So um, they can choose whichever kind they want. So I'm just gonna pull this one out because that's the one we did. Now this one, I chose to do two little kangaroos because they might have multiple children. My thought is the husband, which is mostly men at my husband's work, um, it's an engineering firm, but they may have multiple children. And I thought this would be sweet to have multiple kids and they can give this um, to mom and the inside is, is kind of decorated there too. And I will also have the matching envelope to it with this paper. And it might even be the other side, but it's still, or one of the other papers, but it's the same color. So I thought these were a lot of fun. So we're going to make one like this. I do have some tips and tricks to share with you. So let's just get started. We are going to be using the Kangaroo Company with the Kangaroo Dies. We're going to be using the Subtles, and you can order the regular Subtles, which I'm going to link uh, below and on my blog. But this particular pack is if you are a new demonstrator, and you can get these papers. Okay, so that is where that is from. If you are signed up as a new demonstrator, you get five packs of those. Okay, so here is the My Hearts, where I'm getting the hearts from. And the dress to impress, I'm just using this flower and the Happy Mother's Day out of this set. All right, so I just liked how it was going to fit inside the heart, adding the little flower just to add a little something in there. And I did pre-cut a lot of my stuff. I have it in here. So we're just going to set this aside and let's get busy coloring right away. So I already stamped my images that I need to color. So we're going to start with this and what I did is I have these, I, I showed you this little pouch thing that I got here and I'm just going to use them in here because I stored them in there uh, just to show you and now I'm going to go ahead and color. The first thing I'm going to do is let's color the flowers because I like to color up and towards this way so my hand's not rubbing on it even though we are going to cut that because I'm going to put it into my mini die cut machine so I'm going to put it in uh, cut that out so we can die cut these so we're going to start with the flowers so I started with the leaves and I oh I did not use the markers I'm going to show you that in a minute so let's pull out our two markers here which are granny apple green and I'm going to start with the dark I used the thin end and I'm just going to do a little line down the each of the leaves, just like a little vein kind of. It just adds a little texture, a little color. And now we're going to use the light and we're going to just kind of come fill it in. I like to come from the outside inward because that's the way you're pushing the ink. And I don't want it to come out towards the outside of our image. And besides the vein is at the bottom, which is where you're going to be pushing this color into. All right, so there is that. Now we're going to take the Rococo Rose and we're going to start with the dark. I like to start with the dark because the light just kind of blends it. And I'm just going around the inside of the rose, just those little petals what it's looking like that swirls in the middle and we're just going to add that little bit of darkness there come back in with the light 
Okay, so this is not as fun as chatting with you guys, although I know when I color I can't chat with you much. I guess the good part, let's, let's think positively. You can fast forward through the coloring. Um, I do try to give you some tips and tricks even with the coloring. And I do try to do it a little faster while I am trying to um, color. I just saw a notice pop up that I'm live on YouTube. Who knows what's going on over there now, right? You guys are such rock stars for hanging out with me while we were trying to get that to work. Okay, so I'm doing the light poppy parade in the middle. Let's just add our little centers here. We've got four. And now you're going to take your light and dark. And so we're going to start, where, you know, I'm going to do light this time and you'll see why. I just want to fill in the flowers. Now I have a bunch of people messaging me. So oh, I turned my sound off. Hopefully it's not going to bother you pop up or anything. All right. So we're just going to fill these in. And I'm just assuming there's a couple of these flowers underneath here. So right around that big flower, I add a little bit of yellow because you can see it looks like petals. All right. Then I take the dark and I just do a little line, just kind of like it's a vein in the middle. It just adds a little depth. So let me see. I know when I bring it up, you guys can't see that well. Let's see. So I did it on these two, but I didn't do it on these two. And it just adds a little bit of a depth just by adding just that little bit of a dark line in there. And in person, you can see it much better. So now what I did is I went back in with the dark green and I just filled in anything that looks like it could be a background. I didn't want white holes in there. So anything that looks like it's just, you can see through the flowers, I want more leaves back there. So that's what I did. Okay, so now it just kind of looks like a full bouquet and you filled in that the holes that were white it with the darker green because it's dark, it's down deeper. And so, oops, I missed one little spot. Oh no, I didn't. It just doesn't look very dark. Okay. So that's my flowers. Now what I did with my butterfly, there are so many different things you can do, but this is what I liked doing. I might have used balmy blue on my last one, but we're going to use pool party. Is we're going to take our Winka Stella, and I'm first going to do our flowers. We're going to do the roses. You don't have to do the yellow. Oops, I just did one. Look at that because we're going to add our rhinestones on those. All right, so we're just going to do our roses. And now I'm going to just dip this in just a little. It doesn't even have to be, you don't have to squeeze it out or anything. We're just going to add a little bit on here and just kind of color him in. And now you can just color that off. See how it's just going white now? Well, that's, I, it kind of squeezed out a little. But now there's no blue on it. So you don't have to worry about that. Just brush that right off. And we're done with that. All right, now we're going to do our little guys here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the light Rococo Rose. And I just want to make sure I get their nose and inside their ears. And it will lighten up with the color. So don't worry. Just put that in there. Do the Rococo Rose like that. All right. Now what I did is I took the darker crumb cake and I'm just going to put it in the, in the middle here on their tummy. Now you're going to notice I'm going to take a lot of different colors and kind of play with it and get the color I want. So uh, this is crumb cake. I'm putting the darker on. I'm going to do the lighter on the baby. And what I did is you can see it has like the little line there 
or his belly. Let me see if I can just zoom in a little bit more for you without it getting blurry, I hope. Okay, so now I just assume that this down here is his belly too. And it doesn't give you those marks, but it just goes right along looking like his little belly. Okay, so we're going to do that a little lighter. Okay, now we're going to take the dark cinnamon and we're going to do mom in the dark cinnamon. Okay, so just kind of, I like to use the larger as much as I can on the bigger parts and then switch out just because it kind of feathers it nicely. All right, and make sure you turn it. You don't want to twist your hand all up. Turn your paper, okay? I'm going to skip the ear because I'm going to go back to the smaller piece here on the ear. And so just kind of go down. Again, turn whatever's most convenient for your arm. You don't need to Twist your arm all up. All right. Just go along the edges. And you can just brush that in. And now I come around this corner and just go this way. Okay. And I really like just the brown, but I'll show you what I do to kind of get it to look a little more I don't know if you can tell on this one. It's just a little more suede looking. All right, so let's just color this in. And now start doing some circles because that takes out those harsh lines. So we'll just kind of get some circles going and then let it dry. It, it's, you'll see like over here, I'm gonna wanna fill in a little darker. All right, and then I'm gonna come around. So just kind of like I said, wherever your arm is comfortable and where you can see the outside line. All right. Okay, someone just asked me if something is still alive, so I'm hoping it's not still going. Because if it is, that's kind of crazy. No, it doesn't look like anything is. Okay, I guess that was just a comment. Oh, my head's in the way, sorry. I'm trying to find a better angle and a better angle with my light. All right, so we're just gonna go like this. And do the feet. Okay, I should switch to the smaller. You don't have to worry too much about your lines the first time around because I'm going to go over it again. All right. Now what I did is I took the light uh, crumb cake oops, on the brush and then just kind of go around and that just kind of picks up a little bit of the darker cinnamon. Okay, and you don't really have to do too much on the ear because it's such a small spot. All right, and then you can pick up the, the tummy a little bit. It'll darken it a little because you're kind of blending with the cinnamon. And then just, I just go over it and it, the lighter color is kind of picking up. So if you can tell a little more over here, than, than you can here. I don't know if it's showing up on camera very well, but I just like to go over with a lighter color and it's gonna lighten it. It looks like it's darkening it, but it's not. And you're just kind of really blending the colors together a little bit. So it looks a little more uh, like fur, I think. But the thing you want to remember is don't do it too much in one spot because you'll really pick up that color and it's really going to um, mute your image and you don't want that. Okay, so now I'm going to take the light cinnamon and I'm just going to go ahead with the smaller one and we're going to do this little guy in the light cinnamon. Mm 
he's so cute looking up at his mommy all right so I just kind of color him and you can leave him or do the same yeah I like to just add it because in person it doesn't show up so much on camera but in person it really does give it a little more of a fur look so even though these are cute cards they don't have to have that realistic look but I think it just gives it a little something all right so let's just color this little guy we're just about done with coloring and then I have another technique or two to share all right we're gonna just do this you know female animals are not as colorful as male animals so making her the darker cinnamon was kind of the plan because they don't look as light all right then i have bronze let's see i kind of played back and forth with different colors so let's try the bronze on this little guy it just adds a little more a little more color and we're going to do a third color on him so don't worry he's getting kind of dark now but he's like a he's going to be a bronzy cinnamon got to have a little mom and a little dad to him all right color him in he's so cute and now I'm going to do his little feet. This is a brand new blend, so the tip is super nice. I'll just do his little feet too. And now I'm going to go back in with the, let's try the light cinnamon. Let's see what happens. We'll do his face first. And you can see how it just kind of blends the colors and it's picking up a little bit of the it's really hard to see on camera I can tell that but it's super cute and remember I like to kind of blend it towards the inside not so much towards the edge you don't want your your ink pushes with whichever way you're sending it okay so I think he's really cute so she's a little more red and he's a little more brown so I'm good with that so we will put that aside all right so our little guys are all ready and we can let's die cut these all right and now you know how I am I gotta move this paper because my machine just does not oh you know I brought the big one in here but I think I can use the small one so let's do that Ooh, and we're zoomed in look at that hello machine all right all right our kangaroo dies we've got our large kangaroo so cute these are so cute I always find the cutest little stamps to send for my grandkids and um, I just sent them the ice cream ones and now I think I'm going to send them little kangaroos. Maybe I'll send their moms for Mother's Day these cute little kangaroos. All right, super nice. Now I'm going to show you how I cut that out. All right, so we're going to do that also you can cut it out without it even being known okay because we have this itty bitty butterfly i'm going to get a piece of tape and we're going to tape this guy on because he's so little and i don't want him scooting around on my pretty glittery butterfly so there is that oops okay so here's the thing is this blue, this tape piece is a little big, which is fine, but I'm going to put my, my little bunny die in here. Put something on it. All right. 
We'll put that in here and add the tape, but we'll also do the bouquet because it's just enough to cover everything, apparently. So that's fine. Put that there. This here. We're going to take this and put it here. My husband's probably going to come home. He just sent me a message, said he's on his way. He's probably going to come home and start talking because he's thinking my video's over, not realizing all the issues I had. All right, so there is our bunny. I think he's too far over. I like to get him pretty, pretty close to around. Okay, so there's that. There's that. I'm going to check it and make sure. Nope. For me, that butterfly is off. So I'm going to move my butterfly. Hold the tape back. Get where I want it. For you guys, again, thank you so much for hanging with me during trying to get this to be a live video. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it had anything to do with everybody having issues yesterday or if it's just me because going on Facebook was not fun. It did not want to do that. And so I really don't know, but that's just a little, a little frustrating. All right. So there are these. So now we have our flowers butterfly and our other bunny all right let me put these back so I don't know I'm sure I showed you guys this before but I just had this fear this little bunny was or this little butterfly was going to fall in my trash um, because I have it right here to the left of me and I, I think I've showed this before, but if that happens and you drop something in your trash, and you know how our trash is with all these itty bitty pieces of paper, get your Stamparatus magnet out and just hold it and go like that and it pops right on your, your magnet. It's wonderful when you're trying to look for a die that fell in the trash. I had one fall down and underneath my little rolling, I have like a four drawer rolling cart and it went right under there and I put my magnet down and picked it right up I didn't have to move everything all around and it was really nice all right so here's our card again let's pull these in I think I chose some different colors I haven't used yet so here's our envelope so we're going to do like a peach and the and the mint macaron all right, so let's do the inside. Let's move these over. So I did do some die cutting ahead of time because I just knew I'd be chatting with you guys. And you guys know how to die cut and all that, right? I'm getting a bunch of weird um, comments on my video. So I'm hoping it's not going live still. If so, well, I guess we'll figure it out. I'll go look in a minute. All right, so we're going to put that here. And then do that. We're going to also adhere it. On here. For the inside of our card. Okay, that looks a little crooked. So if you pick it carefully, this will stick like crazy very, very quickly. So if you see that it's a little off, okay, that's better. That top corner looked a little crazy. Oops. All right. Okay, inside's done. The front, we're gonna add that panel. 
And I know a lot of times I don't add the panel until the very end, but in this case, everything's going to be going onto the panel. There's nothing that um, I don't think that's going to really mess up the panel by adding it on because it's all just adhered on. There's no ribbons. There's nothing like that. So I think that's going to be fine. We are going to do our sentiment, which is Happy Mother's Day. And I wanted to go a little towards the top. I thought this one was down. Oh, look at that. I just got black ink on my heart. Oh, we're going to have to do another one. Let's see. Okay, let's cut. I got smudged black ink. That's not good. Let me wipe my hand off. And now my phone is blowing up. All right. Apparently, I'm getting all kinds of spam on my um, on my YouTube. That's always nice. I'll have to go and delete all that. Don't you worry. That's kind of one of the things about having. A YouTube is they're very good about getting things all spammed out and whatever but I thought I deleted them and it's, now it's looking like they're not deleting so I'll go back and check that out when I'm done and if this is recording live on YouTube that's really weird because I turned all that off but that's all right we will just muddle through and figure it out. No stress here. All right, so back to our heart. We're going to put this. Me, I, hopefully my head's not in the way. I'm going to bring that down. Just kind of put it across the top, a little closer to the top, because we're going to fill that in. And this is what I was showing you. I'm going to go ahead and bring back in my piercing mat. And we're going to bring back in this flower. And this is the flower that's from the uh, Dress to Impress, I think it's called. Yes, Dress to Impress that I showed you. So what we're going to do is now we're bringing in our markers. You know this is the favorite thing to do with my markers is we're going to color the leaves green. Okay, super simple. Color the leaves green. We just kind of pick some colors that go with the flowers below. We are going to take the Mango Melody and go around with the flower. Make sure you take it close enough to the inside around the little stamens or curls or whatever they call that in the middle of the flower and get your mango melody on there really good. I kind of rub it on and then I just pounce it a little bit and then you're going to take your poppy parade and just kind of go in the middle which is also in the middle of the yellow flowers on the bouquet. I hop on it and then I stamp. And then that just adds a little bit of flower there for our heart. And now we're going to adhere this. So just take your, I do a little bit of liquid. That way you can kind of move it around, get it exactly where you want. I start with the point and kind of look at the middle of the top and bottom, get an idea of where that's at. And then you can always just adjust from there if you need to. So there's our heart. And I did adhere that flat. So again, you're gonna use liquid. All right, we're gonna go like this. I just kind of put it to the side a little bit on this one. Some of them you can put straight. Oh, maybe we'll do straight. We have plenty of time in the room. 
So I kind of liked that towards the top because I don't want the kangaroos. His head's got to be kind of right there. All right, so I showed you. Now this one, I'm going to tell you, I did trim all the way around and take the white off. And that wasn't on purpose. It was on purpose because I made a mistake. I originally had these on white paper and then I took my crumb cake ink and a blending tool and did it because I thought, oh, it's going to cut fairly closely. And I like how it cut, but I didn't like the brown on the outside. It just looked dirty. So I said, mm, got to cut it all off. But for this little guy, I'm going to go right along his little foot and I'm going to go right along the black line and I'm going to cut the white out. I think it just looks a little more finished. You definitely can leave it on. But I liked taking that off. And you can see a little piece of white right there. And if you do, uh, I would prefer to use the black um, marker like this. But I don't have it handy. So I'm just going to take this, this one here and just go right over the edge. Okay, so now he's, you can't see that black on the top there, which is great. All right, and now we're going to add our dimensionals. The first thing I like to do is take the flowers. There's my butterfly and my flowers. So I'm going to take my flowers and I'm just going to tuck the, the little middle right there inside. Okay, so however you want it, but I'm going to use a dimensional right here on the back of my flowers towards the top. And we're going to adhere that right to our little kangaroo. So these are going to be kind of in the pouch, but Mama's holding them. Okay, and now we're going to do our dimensionals, and I'm going to put, make sure I'm in the camera. I like to put one here because it does hold what little bit of the flowers it's tucked in there. And then I like to take some little ones and I'm going to cut a little farther up. So I cut them in half. Now if you cut them this way, they're not in a row. So I like to cut them this way so that they're in a row. And then I'm just going to grab my halves and I'm going to put one on each foot. I only need a little half of one. Just to make sure his foot stays, I'm going to put a half and then a half on his tail. So you don't need a full one. You just need it to kind of lay down. And then I want to put some on his ears because I don't want those to snag. They're kind of up there and they're you're going to pop him up. So you just want to make sure that he's in good shape, not going anywhere. So this is the last week we're going into for celebration. So make sure you're getting your celebration items and the things that you want. Um, if you're going to order paper, if you need adhesive, scissors, even if you're thinking, oh, I don't need any stamps, I got what I want, whatever, um, don't forget, we have a lot of items. Now see, his feet don't even look like they were cut, but that spots out which is really nice um don't forget we have adhesive and glue and just uh or adhesive and glue and scissors and different things that are super great to have on hand okay so this guy i took a big one in the middle of his tummy but kind of towards his feet so he's secure and i took a little one a mini and i put it on his head and i took a of one and I put it on his outer ear because it's kind of on this side of his body where there really isn't a lot okay my computer here we go all right so so yeah you don't want to miss out on that and then gosh I really wanted to talk to you guys about Tuesday if my I can get online okay we're gonna put him right there he's so cute. And then we're going to take a little one on the butterfly. 
Um, I really wanted to talk to you about my class coming up, which is the Butterfly Brilliant Collection. And if you were on YouTube with me, you heard me talking about the different options we're going to have. So if you need to purchase the kit, okay, I made this little tiny bow, and I just really liked adding it there. And we're going to cut it down, but I'm going to put it on first. Um, if you need the kit, and you can purchase it for me on March 2nd, they're available. And I will be sending free kits to all that purchase the full collection from me. So if you need the full collection and want the kits to my class, which will be three A2 size cards and a mini pizza box with, and that'll be decorated, with four mini cards inside. And so it's really cute. All right, so let's put our rhinestones as soon as I find them. What did I do? Rhinestones. There they are. So um, I will send you the kit for all of that. So yes, I was asked on my last live video if there is an option to purchase if you already have the collection. Um, meaning you're a demonstrator, you already have the collection, and you are interested in the kit. Um, yes, I will have an option for that. Okay, so let's look at our card. How cute is that? And it was simple and fast. There's a lot of colors in one of the packages, and you can choose. Um, if you're a new demonstrator, you get the, the pack of papers, um, these here. And you get five different packages. So you get the settles, the regals, the brights, the neutrals, and the in colors. Okay, so there's that. So this is what I chose. Is uh, At first I made that one. And I think it was this one. And then I decided to kind of keep it in color-ish. Uh, with the settles, I mean. So I kind of chose to mix it up. No, I think it was these two. Then I chose to kind of mix it up and go with the colors from the kit. And so they are all kind of the same theme, kind of, you know, just fun. But it's a good use of your designer series paper. Remember, when you cut this, you're going to have this piece left over. So this is six inches, okay? And then this is six inches. This piece right here is right here. So this is a perfect piece for another card, either down the side, across the center, towards the bottom, whatever. Or you can cut this up to go on the inside and you have both sides. There's a lot of things you can do with this. So um, always keep your pieces and come up with another idea to use those. So there you go. Um, so back to the class really quickly. This bottom portion here, it, this bottom left side, uh, left of the machine is the collection. You would get all of that. The DSP, the specialty paper, which is a birch, um, natural birch color and texture paper. And then you would get the bundle, which is the dies. So you get the solid butterfly dies. You get the individual butterfly dies and then you get the stamp set okay so you can purchase the kit from me the collection and i will give you the kits for free and a link to a video creating each project if you already have the collection and you want to just purchase the kit and the video link i can send you both of those the kit and the video link and if you already have everything and you're like, I can use my own paper and everything and you just want the video link, I can do that too. I will have more information for you and pictures on Tuesday of the kit and what it's going to um, entail and the prices and everything. I want to finish creating everything first so I can give you an idea. So right now is February. This is my February code. I'm going to be creating a March code very soon. 
The March code is the one that you will use for the Butterfly Brilliance collection because you cannot purchase it until March the 2nd. Okay, so if you want to do that from my blog, you can. This is a card made with that set. This is not one of the cards we will have in the bundle, but there is a tutorial on this card on my YouTube. And so really that gives you an extra card that you can create with it. Another thing to remember is the Stampin' Storage. On my blog, there is a link and there will be a link below in my YouTube video of this and you can get a link directly to Stampin' Storage. I am an affiliate, and so I would get um, a tiny percentage of what you purchase from them, but I highly recommend their products. Otherwise, I would not be an affiliate, so that can give you a little inspiration. They do have the desktop the, and a drawer and like a shelf type options for the brushes, which are really nice. They also do sell um, stamp set shelving. Um, it looks a lot like what I have behind me. I did not know they did shelving or they didn't do shelving when my husband made these. So um, that's when I saw that I was like, I got to let you guys know because you keep asking me about these. And I, uh, my husband made those. I said, they've got to match stamp and storage though, because I want the whole look. And that's what he did. All right, so one last thing I want to be sure to tell you is right now is the perfect time to join. My anniversary is next week from joining. So I did join during celebration because you get your best bang for your buck. For $99, you get $125 in product. This year, the, um, the bonus is the 200 sheets of paper, which is the five packs of six by six. DSP. You get your catalog, your business supplies, a free paper pumpkin. You get free shipping on your kit, early access to new products, the discount, 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 which is huge. Yes, your quote is $300, but right now it is through July 31st and you have nothing to lose. Now, that being said, what I want you to know is there is no obligation. When you sign up, it's going to ask for your, your card and information because that's how you purchase. It's going to also ask you to go back in and sign up your checking account. That's how they pay you. So when you sell stuff, even when you buy yourself, if you buy from the website as a customer um, on accident or you're putting in somebody's order as a customer, you're going to get paid through your checking account. If you are a demonstrator and you put it in as a demonstrator order, you're going to put that in and it takes your 20% off right from the top. So if it's a $500 item, 20% comes off right away, which is $100, right? Yes. So you're only going to pay $400. Well, plus shipping, tax, whatever. So remember that immediately you get your 20% off. You just have to put it in the correct way. Okay. Um, the other thing is there is no no reason not to try it you're there's there's you sign up and if you say you know what i got my kit i got everything i don't think i want to do this then then don't let it lapse don't put any orders in continue ordering through your demonstrator then and you will just um not be active or you can try put your orders in get your 20 percent keep going until they tell you you haven't met your quota you may be surprised that after your, at the end of July, you may only need 20 more dollars or 40 more dollars, or you may be, have already reached your quota. And now you have till the end of October um, to reach your next goal. So um, even though it's every quarter is your $300, you get a quarter to make it up. So you get a um, kind of a, a grace period to, okay, you're, you're close or you know you still have time to make that up and you can still try it does not hurt trying you never know it might work out perfectly or you're getting a discount for a while you're giving it a try and if it doesn't work it it is okay uh, you will not hurt my feelings if you sign up get a kit and try and say you know what i'm not I, this isn't for me 
or I'm not getting the discount I um, you know the, the quota in so I'm not going to be able to keep doing this and that is fine I'm proud that you gave it a try and um, there's no loss it's really a huge gain for you to get the discount okay so I think that is it the other thing um, I don't know if I mentioned it at the beginning because I did this video so many times on YouTube and it was having issues Carol Fusel said thank you very much for everybody's kind words last Sunday she appreciates it very much um, and it, it's all good news on her end things are going fine and she wasn't sure she was going to be able to make the live and wanted to be sure that I please pass that along. So there you go. All right. Again, my blog is up on top. I'd love for you to go over and subscribe. My videos, content, measurements, and all that good stuff are always put onto my blog. So that will be there shortly. Thank you again for sticking with me. I apologize that this could not be live. I'm very sad about that. But you got to see all the fun cards and how easy it is to do and how easy it was to color and the cards just came out so cute and they are a lot of fun and don't forget to use your DSP another great way to use it have a fantastic day I will be here Tuesday I will not be here next Sunday okay I will not be here because I'll be traveling home I'm going to be working on my kit, so I don't think I'm going to have a live video for you, but it would be great if I could surprise you, and that's my goal, but I'm not promising. All right, thanks a lot. Thanks for being patient with this video, and we will chat soon. Bye.